forging cyber, forging cyber security. Secure Ninja. Hey everyone, I'm Alicia Webb with Secure Ninja TV. Now, our free preview of Secure Ninja's online Sensei series has generated such a positive reaction that we've decided to give away every single module from this Cyber Kung Fu course featuring Larry Greenblatt, Tom Upchagrove, and me. If you like what you see and would like to experience a Secure Ninja training course in person at any of our training locations, we have some amazing time-sensitive specials for you. Just visit secureninja.com slash specials for all of the do not miss deals. And now here is your free module from Cyber Kung Fu for the Certified Ethical Hacker version 8. Enjoy! Welcome to module 2, Footprinting and Reconnaissance. So, Footprinting and reconnaissance, Alicia, is really designed uh, before we ever even do a penetration test. And what we're like, trying to do is gather as much information about an intended target. And so let's say that uh, I'll be given a task to, uh, to vest um, uh, a person or a number of people that might be hired for a company. And in fact, you came up with a good idea about, uh, about um, somebody might have a potential date and actually just looking up some information about them. Mm -hmm. So it's really the same idea. You want to really be able to gather as much information as you can. Okay, so there are a number of uh, sites out there for that. And um, Spokio uh, is one of them. My favorite is uh, KGB People. So let's go back here and, and pull that up uh, back there. I got a, a nice quick link for it. And so um, uh, without really pulling some names out of here, uh, probably the safest thing would be to just uh, look myself up. So why don't you type uh, Tom up the Grove in there and, and search. Tommy up. Yeah, maybe uh, we'll get Tommy up to come up. Uh, so, it's kind of interesting. Um, something found in KGB people's profiles, um, Amazon, um, alternative sources. Oh, wow. It tells you where there's no results. Good photos. See if there's any photos on YouTube. All right, so 34 results found on YouTube. I may have been responsible um, for some of those. Special thanks to Tom Updegrove from Keystone. This was a client of mine um, receiving my black belt um, Sunday sparring. So, um, and here now, if I'm just kind of looking up, uh, so. These are some videos that it must have out on uh, on YouTube. So, if you didn't know, this is Philly style Kempo. So, um, let's say the person I was looking up maybe knew something about um, they were a golfer. Um, they were uh, into I don't know, water polo, horseback riding. So what I would do is I would start um, uh, devising a phishing attack uh, towards this person and say uh, this was an intended victim. So I want to gather as much information. So I don't know if I'd mess with this guy, but um, <laughs> what I would do is um, craft some type of a martial art um, newsletter mm -hmm. to them. You know, get to see if they open it up and then uh, I would send uh, I would send it a couple of times, and then maybe the third or fourth one, I'd have a Trojan sitting in there. Right. You know, that would give me kind of access and, and be able to get in there. That's if I was you know thinking in terms of that appeal to their interests. Mm -hmm. and, you know, some of the other things. I mean, this is a great site. I, we could pull up a lot of lot of real interesting stuff about this about, about Tom, right? But mm -hmm. you can also uh, just uh, just Google. In fact, let's use a uh, let's use a real safe uh, a, a anonymous website, DuckDuckGo, look, and look uh, look me up in there. See if we can find anything on me. 
Uh, so, records detail. Uh, it's interesting. So, um, is this accurate? Is that yeah, your mother, Margaret? Um, You're a Philly guy, we know that. But you know something, this site really does and just pulls up some records that really give us much information. Yeah. Um, and one of my favorites, though, way is um, to, um, to uh, do like a who is. So type who is, one word, and then um, space, and then and in parentheses put uh, Tom Optigrove. Um, in, uh, I'm sorry, quotation marks. So whenever you're doing a, a web search, if you put the search terms together, it's going to look for, yeah, that's it. And almost we has got the same comeback that we did, but um, here this would be a little help, more helpful coming back with uh, some type of a, um, a connection visualizer. Okay. And then we're going to come back. This report is only seventy nine ninety five. Okay, but what I am trying. So this is pretty good actually because here it's picked up my father, my mother, um, uh, and both my sons. Okay? Uh, except I've never lived in Atlantic City. Okay? Mm -hmm. um, but what I'm trying to pull up would be um, here's my ex. I'm trying to pull up um, some business information. Uh, Yeah, so the whole world now knows everything about me. <laughs> um, but it did kind of nail me down in here. Yeah. So here you go. Here's another one. So uh, just kind of roaming through, we uh, you know, managed to gather some interesting information you know, about our target. So wh what would you do with that information? Let's say you, you um, wanted to really scam me. Yeah. Could, could you, from that information, um, get enough to um, uh, try to trick me into uh, clicking something. Or, yeah, I mean, uh, were we able to find your email address? Uh, not yet. Uh, actually, I think we did when we were on uh, KGB People. Yeah. Yeah. Here you go. Email click here. Now, a lot of these are paid services. Do you feel like you need to you pay go. That's not bad. for good information? I think, uh, really, if, you, if, you, if you're using it, like if you were a private eye, um, yeah, you definitely want, like, the best. Right. You know, you want the, the, um, definitely the best type of service you could have, sure. Um, yeah, why, um, you know, spend all that time you know, when you can get right to the, right to the source of it? Right. Yeah, you know, it's amazing the database that are compiled today. Yeah. Very cool. So basically, in a nutshell, that's, um, that's what we do when we're, we're de kind of developing a, a profile on someone. Right. Yeah. Um, now, you don't seem like a super easy target. There wasn't tons of Facebook and Twitter linked to your name. What about someone who had just that much more information online, someone who wasn't private with their security at all? We could find out so much about them. Yeah, I'm, I suppose there it's good when you uh, kind of have like Google Alerts, mm -hmm. at least if uh, if it's um, you know Google oriented, you know. But there are so many competing different databases and, and engines today. Right. Um, I think it's you know you have to be smart today because uh, with the proliferation of information like this, um, you know you're leaving you're leaving big footprints out there. Mm -hmm. So I think a little bit more like an Indian scout. You know I want to like tread lightly and um, uh, not leave as much information out there. You know as possible. I'd rather I'd rather live a little bit more like a ninja. You know? Probably a good strategy. Yeah, I think so. Me on the other hand, yeah. I have a Facebook fan page. Yeah. Yeah, you can look it up, Alicia. <laughs> there you I go. Get that in there, there you have it. Okay. <laughs> and that is footprinting and reconnaissance. Now, we hope you've enjoyed this free module, but there's lots more. The Cyber Kung Fu course has 29 videos in all and will really help build you a solid understanding of the CEH version 8 curriculum. Don't forget, if you prefer to attend one of the Secure Ninja's courses in person at any of our training locations, you really need to visit secureninja.com slash specials for some amazing discounts and other deals. I'm Alicia Webb. Happy training. Secure Ninja TV is brought to you by secureninja.com. 
a world leader in cybersecurity training and certification. Our master instructors will help build you into a highly skilled and marketable security professional. Secure Ninja, forging cybersecurity experts.